So you're watching this video on your phone right now. At least you think you are. But here's the first problem. Is that phone even real? I mean, sure, you can touch it, you can drop it, and yes, you'll cry when the screen cracks. But quantum physics says the atoms making up your phone are 99.999% empty space. Congratulations, you're holding basically nothing. That chair you're sitting on, same thing. Solid? Nope. It's a bunch of particles vibrating so fast your brain decides it feels solid. So, you're not sitting on a chair, you're floating on vibrations. Nice. Let's talk about your eyes. You think you're seeing me? Not really. Light bounces, your brain flips the image, adds colors that technically don't exist, and voila, reality. It's Photoshop, but in your skull. And don't even get me started on time. You check your clock and it looks so serious. 12.30, 12.31. But in Einstein's world, time stretches and bends depending on how fast you move. So maybe your lunch break is longer in one universe and in another, you're already late. Now think about this. Dreams feel real while you're in them. You eat, you cry, you fly, and then you wake up. What if this right now is just another dream? How sure are you that you'll wake up from this one? So here's the real punch. If your phone is mostly empty, your chair is mostly empty, your eyes are lying, your brain is editing, and time is bending. What exactly makes this real? And the deepest question of all, if reality disappears the moment you stop observing it, then who or what was observing you?